I'm John Alder for DIYPhotography.net. We're here at the Syrup booth on the Vitex stand at IBC 2019. I'm here with Ben and he's going to show us how to set up time lapse for photographing people. DIY Photography's coverage of IBC 2019 is sponsored by Syrup, Better Films, Zion, a gimbal for everyone, Manfrotto, Imagine More, and Spiffy Gear, lighting for storytellers. So, Ben, before we get into that, I see a new toy on here. Yeah, we um, just a released the new tilt platform. Okay, so this is for um, aiding you when you're shooting on a slider on an angle. So if you're shooting 45 degrees or even full vertical, like in this setup here, you can actually level your camera out by just tilting the platform ah, and then locking it off. Really, it's a lot simpler than a ball head or something, isn't it? A lot simpler than a ball head, yeah. It's pretty clunky, especially if you're using Genie 2 pan tilt with a linear. To have a ball head in between is not ideal, so it's great for that application. Also great if you're just using a tripod head on a slider. Um, you can use a tilt platform to put the tripod head on and you can get manual moves as well by Brilliant. just tracking back and forth. Brilliant. So show us how we're going to use this setup now to do time-lapse of people. Yeah, so um, this is all set up with a three-axis uh, kit at the moment. Uh, so people time-lapse, pretty ideal for a trade show since there's heaps of people wandering around. So step one on the system is to set up a start and an end point. Okay, so we set up where we want to start the movement and where we want to finish and set our composition. Um, so we have integrated joysticks on the app uh, to drive the product around and um, basically set it to exactly where we want to start and end our frame. After we've set it up, um, it's just a matter of programming the record time, how long I want to record for, uh, the interval, so that is how often I want to take a photo. Um, and the syrup will automatically trigger the camera as well? It will, right? yeah. If you have the right cable, and we stock nine different cables for all the manufacturers, uh, you plug it into the camera as well, so that means that the device will move and come to a complete stop and then fire the shutter. Um, so it's pretty important when you're shooting a people time lapse that your interval is quite small. Uh, since the people are moving quite quickly and there's a lot of movement going on, uh, you want a smaller interval. If it was something like clouds or something where the subjects were moving quite slowly, then your interval would obviously want to be longer in order to capture that. So. Maybe a two second, three second interval would be ideal. Um, and then usually, even in, in daylight conditions, it's best to use a filter um, of some description. Um, we have a, a five to 10 stop filter that we normally use uh, that we make, and that just allows you to drag the shutter speed down as well. So you get a nice amount of motion blur while the people are moving around the frame. But in here in the trade show, lights are fairly dim, we can go yep. low ISO, small aperture. Exactly, yeah. Probably don't need a filter inside, so um, with a three second interval we might have a one second shutter speed or something like that and um, that'll give us a nice motion blur effect. Brilliant, so what's the next step? So next step, um, after I've set my interval to three seconds, is to set the record time. So I can adjust the record time, uh, let's say one hour. Um, even two hours and what's going to happen is my playtime is going to update so how long my final time lapse is going to be so I can adjust these parameters to figure out how long I'm going to get. Usually 20 second, 30 second time lapse is, um, is quite good. It's like it's pretty long but it allows you to cut, cut the start and end off if you don't like it. It allows you a bit of leeway to speed things up if you want to. Um, if you shoot just a 10 second time lapse, sometimes um, it can be a bit frustrating because you, you've got no room to edit later, so 20 seconds is usually the sweet spot. And that's basically it. I mean, that's all you have to program. Um, there's the option to set your ease in, ease out, so you can slowly ramp the movement up and slowly dampen it down at the end to give you a nice effect at the start and the end of your movement. Um, and other than that, just hit record and it's going to run over an hour and a half. Brilliant. Fantastic, man. Thank you very much. All right, thanks. So that was Ben and Sarah and how to shoot time lapse of people. We're still going to be looking around IBC to see what else we can find. Don't forget, we're giving away $5,000 worth of cinema goodies, including something from Syrup. Check the link in the description below for more details on that. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.